Well, we've been a little bogged down by crime and politics during the show today. We wanted to turn to something a little different, featuring some of the incredible wildlife the Pacific Northwest holds. And in this case, a rare clash caught on camera. Initially, it looked like a group of whales tail slapping in the Salish Sea. That's along the Washington state border with Canada. But things were actually getting agitated, and it was soon discovered this is a sparring match between two humpback whales and a group of orcas. Erica Zuko from our sister station in Seattle tells us more. Fins went flying in the Strait of Juan de Fuca as a couple humpbacks faced off with a group of Biggs orcas witnessed by whale watchers like Molly Nacarado. I've loved whales my whole life, so uh, I cried three times <laughs> yesterday on the boat, uh, even doing this every day, like things like that just truly take your breath away. At first glance, video shows a lot of splashing by active orcas, which brought tour boats closer. But look in the center of the frame and you'll see a humpback, which normally avoid these killer whales. There was definitely a lot of kind of harassment of, of each other. <laughs> do we know why they do this? So uh, the orca that were in that encounter were uh, big or transient orcas. Um, so they've been known to eat seal, sea lions, uh, harbor porpoise, and go after humpback calves. But researchers say these whales were older, IDing them as known humpbacks Hydra, hailing from Hawaii, and Reaper, born near Mexico. It's possible they struck first. In spite of being two against around two dozen, past research has shown humpbacks harassing orcas hunting prey. There have been a few occasions in the recent years that our naturalists have actually seen humpback whales come to the rescue of other animals like sea lions that were being chased by orcas. In April, naturalists saw humpback Valiant acting aggressive near a group of Biggs orcas. They believe he'd been attacked by some years ago, so he may have had some unfinished business. But overall, the Pacific Whale Watch Association says these encounters are rare. Wow, how about that, huh? This time of year doesn't just prompt aggression between political candidates. Sometimes it's the wildlife, too. All right, keep sending your questions and comments to the story at kgw.com. We're going to wrap things up.